Hello, 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 Sagittarius. I'm going to do a little reading for you for the spring. I'm going to pull one card each for April, May, and June and get your energies. Oh, that feels good. Mm, herbal tea. Wonderful. Okay, anyway, here we go. Let me shuffle just a little bit. Um, so the, the cards that I'm going to be pulling for each of these months, remember that it's not like some future that's set in stone. It is advice for you to live to your greatest potential. Okay, so even if the energies are like a little bit scary, it's really just about helping you s resolve your blocks to living to your greatest potential. Okay, so I'm Michelle B., Sagittarius, for those of you who are not already subscribed, make sure that you do subscribe so that you can be in the loop for all of my readings that I do two or three times a week. I do monthlies, weeklies, uh, lunar cycles, and I do readings on purpose, prosperity, and love, because we all love love. Looking at April Sag, here we go. Oh, the cherry. I've gotten such good vibes from this reading today. <laughs> I'm loving it. Anyway, Sagittarius, sorry, Sagittarius gets the chariot, which is the the forward moment, excited momentum of feeling like you are fully in alignment with your purpose. It's like I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to solve this thing. I've got something. Ooh, April's like I have got something to do, and it feels so good to have a purpose. Oh, yeah, some, when, when we're at it, when we're not feeling, we always have pur a purpose, right? But sometimes we don't feel in alignment with it. We're out of touch with it. And when we do become in alignment with like something to do, it feels so good. So Sagittarius, the, the energy is just like, get up and go, move. Let's look at what we've got for May for Sagittarius. Energies for May. Well, meh. This is about the, whoops, I screwed up. This is a whoopsie. This is the whoopsie card. I did something I shouldn't have done, and I feel ashamed of, ashamed of myself. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. I'm not clarifying these cards as they come up. I'm just saying, hey, you, can, you always have the power to forgive yourself when we're keeping in mind the month of May, okay? First of all, be mindful when you're in the chariot energy in April. Be mindful of your effect on other people. Don't just, like, don't just roll over people with your chariot, right? Um, make sure that the people that you're involving in the th exciting things that you're doing are fully aware of what you are doing, what the consequences are of the things, that, the thing that you're excited about, so that you don't end up in a position where you're like, whoops, I accidentally did something to somebody. I accidentally ran over someone with my ideas. Make sure they know. They understand what they're getting themselves into and make sure that you you communicate to them. Are you sure that you want to do this? Are you sure that you want to get involved in that? This is what I felt like I needed to say, Sagittarius. Now let's go look over at June. Let's pull a card for June. Here it is. I like this. this is so it starts out with the chariot. I have a purpose. I'm going to go do this thing. And it's ending the spring season with victory and support. So right in the middle, we have the shame, which is like, ugh screwed up right you know what I'm feeling I do feel like I needed to say what I needed what I, I, I needed to say what I said it, when I was referring to this five of cups energy before but now even more so I'm feeling like I need to bring out the fact that you don't need to compensate for the lack for your own um inadequacy or you know inferiority complex that you might be feeling because of mistakes that you made in the past you don't have to compensate for that that's not like you just just do for now don't do to fix before um i feel like that that's an energy that's here it's like i'm going to fix what i did before can you guys can you guys see that energy there i'm going to fix what i did before and here's my victory but it's not about that the the energy that the energy that should be is I feel like there's this thing that I'm really excited about. I'm gonna do it because it makes me feel good. Okay. And I'm not gonna make anybody else get involved if they don't want to. And I'm going to be supported and I'm gonna be in alignment. But it's a matter of not tangling tangling up your ego with the whole thing. These just felt like I needed to tell you that. It's the, the words are just pouring out of my mouth. It's really 
I love it when I can just speak so easily, but I'm like, I don't know how that even makes sense. I just needed to say it. That make sure that you're coming from a place in your project that you're working on here. Make sure that you're coming from a place of really wanting to improve the quality of life of others um, instead of wanting to make yourself look good at all costs. It should not be success at any cost. Ooh. It should not be success at any cost. If things need to slow down, if you need to heed someone else's needs in the process, do it. Because there's all the time in the world. As far as the universe goes, there's no such thing as time. So make sure that you take care of your own health. Make sure and take care of the, the, the well-being of the people that you love. This is where I leave off. Mm. Love you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being with me today. And I will see you next time. Bye.